Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about XRP. The overall situation for XRP hasn't changed. So I've, I'm observing two main scenarios still. Either uh, that this was an A wave down, a B wave up and a C wave down is now in the making of a larger, very complex correction W, X, Y, X, Z, which started here with this high in July. A very complex correction, which is currently coming down there. Um, so I'm observing that this starts to look more and more like a triangle. And that's the second scenario where I would also see it as part of the same corrective structure. Um, but I would keep the door open to a, the development of a potential triangle. I would turn more directly bullish if the price can turn and break above 55.7 cents. We would need to see that signal. At the moment, I have no evidence that I need to consider something more directly bullish here because for me that the, the pressure is down against that 55.7 cent level. Um, below that level, this can be a triangle. Yeah. And at the moment, I'm watching here for a more direct pathway down, not primarily the triangle, even though I have sketched it out here on the chart like it. But it's not an ideal um, triangle yet. We don't have enough waves to confirm. But I will tell you in this video what we need to see to really consider it as a triangle more, yeah, with, with more confidence. But the primary scenario is at the moment for a more direct move down as it has been for the last few weeks because the rally was only in three waves. So I would like to see it go ideally below the 43 cent level, uh, which is the August low. Um, yeah. So looking at the microstructure, that hasn't changed, but we can add a little bit more info if you like to. So the idea is that of this B wave high, that's currently the primary scenario, the August high price, well, it's not the August high. No, but it's here the end of August high. Uh, the price has come down in five waves. We had a three wave pullback. Yeah. And then we're coming down now in this third wave of the C wave. And this would also be a five wave move. Yeah. So we track another five wave move down here in a wave one of a smaller wave degree. And now this, I haven't labeled the microstructure yet, but I gave you resistance in the last video. We can see that price seems to be respecting resistance. So we see initial rejections, but this was a strong one, but it still seems to show further upside pressure and no previous swing low has been taken out. So I'm watching, maybe it goes higher. And if it breaks above 49.17 cents, it would be the first signal that maybe this larger triangle is unfolding. Okay. So this for me is the key level against which I would focus more imminently to the downside. The next key level, which could also be used is the end of the wave two here, which was a triangle at 50 cents. But the key is above 47, uh, no, above the 78.6 retracement, above 49.17 cents, it is less likely, it's going to become less likely that we are in this, um, yeah, in this third wave to the downside, basically. Yeah. It will be invalidated this third wave to the downside above 50 point, yeah, no, 50 cents, above 50 cents. So at the moment, however, I'm observing if due to the strong rejection here as well, if this wave two might have finished, but I don't have strong evidence for it yet. Um, it would really take a break below 59, 50, no, 45.9 cents. It takes a break below 45.9 cents to confirm that a third wave here to the downside is starting um, looking at the microstructure here i mean this move up looks corrective to me so if you ask me for a micro count i would give this an a b this here currently the c wave to the upside this will most likely change because this is um choppy and the move up here looks like an ending diagonal in a c wave yeah so this is likely going to change however um you know just for info maybe see this as a potential yeah wave one of wave c wave two Mm, wave three, yeah, wave four, which was too deep to be reliable and the wave five also, but not invalid. So this is just something how it could have unfolded. I'm not very happy with it. Uh, it might rather be a WXY maybe, but this is something that uh, is certainly a valid wave count, but it would need to break down now. Based on this assessment, it would need to break below the low of the fourth wave there, 47.2 cents to really be a first indication, to get a first indication that the third wave has started. Can't really say anything about it before uh, because the short term trend seems to be up still, making higher highs, making higher lows. So it really takes a lower low below the fourth wave low, which would also invalidate basically 
uh, any further upside like this in this diagonal structure, ideally. At least would be a first indication. Um, it takes a break below that to get, get a very first and early indication that the third wave down has started, but it will not be confirmed before we break below that 45.9 cent level. Yeah, and I already highlighted to you a break above resistance will unlock a large, the potential of a larger triangle. That would, based on everything I can see now, simply delay the sell off a little bit. Okay, that's my update about XRP. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.